Remove the syringe by tearing its protective wrapping. Step 1. Grip the barrel firmly and fully insert the cartridge into the open barrel end of the syringe. Step 2. Slide the finger grip to the end of the plunger, making sure it completely covers the silicon tip. Insert the handle into the open end of the syringe, directly behind the cartridge. Step 3. Slide the sheath protecting the needle backwards towards the handle, until it clicks firmly. The click is made as the sheath hits the handle and locks the unit together, making sure that there is no gap between the transparent sheath and the handle. Please note that failure to retract the sheath fully until you hear the click may result in the device disassembling during use. At the rear end of the needle cannula inside the cartridge barrel, there is a small protuberance. Throughout the injection procedure, this protuberance depresses the cartridge diaphragm, resulting in aspiration when injection pressure is released. The second form of aspiration can be obtained by the pliable O-ring that is situated at the end of the handle plunger. This O-ring creates a vacuum directly behind the cartridge piston when the plunger is slowly withdrawn. If at any time during the injection procedure the device needs to be placed on the bracket table, the needle can be protected by sliding the protective sheath gently forwards until resistance is felt. At this point, gently ease the sleeve further forward into the holding position. When the device is required to complete the injection procedure, carefully slide the protective sheath back to expose the needle, as in step 3, and continue the injection procedure. After you have finished the injection, remove the fingers from the handle and grip the finger holder. Slide the protective sheath down the barrel of the syringe until you reach the first holding position. Then grip the barrel of the syringe and push the protective sheath firmly until a positive click is felt and heard. The device is now in the final locking position. Warning: When the device has been locked, do not try to force the protective sheath off the locked position. Instead, the syringe should be disposed of safely and a fresh syringe assembled to complete the procedure. If you wish to remove the cartridge from the syringe prior to disposal, pull the handle plunger back fully, ensuring that no part of the plunger remains inside the glass body of the anaesthetic cartridge. At this point, separate the handle from the syringe body and extend the tip of the plunger. Now partially insert the tip of the plunger into the open end of the cartridge and then withdraw the plunger with cartridge attached from the device. Now the injection device can be disposed of safely. If you are using a white single-use handle, it can be disposed of as well. If you are using a black polycarbonate handle, it can now be sterilized.